There's the life people lead before someone in their family is lost in the line of duty while serving this country, and then there's the life they lead afterward. And the life they lead afterward, if they are resilient and they are supported, and they come to grips in terms of what it is that happened to their family member, can hopefully be a positive one and a constructive one and a one of purpose. But I'm gonna to talk today about a guy named Andrew Farrar, who's a basketball player from Weymouth, who died on his 31st birthday, January 28, 2005, in Iraq. In high school, he was pursued by a young woman who was a couple years younger than him named Melissa, who eventually wrestled him to the ground and the two of them got married and they eventually had two children, Liam and Tyler, while Andy continued to serve. And as he approached what would have been the end of his last tour, he was looking forward to coming home and settling in with his wife and his two sons. And unfortunately for Andy and for Andy's family, it was all gonna turn out to be different. After Andy died, Melissa died shortly after that. I'm pretty sure she died because the guy she chased and the guy she caught and the guy she had two kids with and who she thought she was gonna live the rest of her life with wasn't gonna be there. Specialist Jacob Stiles. Sergeant Sean Michael Stoddard. Staff Sergeant Clint Joseph Story. People talk all the time about the life people lead before somebody dies and the life they lead after. Captain Christopher James Sullivan. But the folks who are here today who lost someone, and the families that are represented by these thousands of flags behind me. Private First Class Clinton Edward Springer. For them, it was a daily personal struggle. Staff Sergeant Stephen A. Sprague. To not only put the pieces back together, but to find some way to create positivity and purpose. Special Agent Stephen Eric Sullivan. Despite the empty chair at the table, those families have had to find the grit and the determination and the character to build a new life that in many cases came with twists and turns and obligations and heartache. So today is very much about the flags and those they represent. But let's never forget that they are also about the loved ones who had to put behind the fact that they lost somebody they cared so deeply about, pick up the pieces, and build a life to move forward. And for that, we should never forget.